Okay, so I work at the National Institutes of Health. And currently, we have a policy requiring all researchers who get more than half a million dollars a year in costs, so that's pretty big grants, to have a data sharing plan. Um, and that plan is reviewed by the, the program officer in review and is implemented. Um, and it's a fairly lightweight procedure. However, last year, the White House released a memo on updated policies and expectations for open access to data. And all of the agencies, including uh, NIH, which is part of Health and Human Services, have been updating their proposed policies of how to make all research data um, available and discoverable. Um, so at this time, the policies have not been updated, but we do expect those to be implemented within the next year. That is an excellent question. We give emphasis on open access to research data because all of these data are generated using public funds, and it is the, the funding of the citizens of the United States of America, and they should be able to receive benefit from it, not just in the terms of the discoveries made, but in the data themselves, so it can be reused by other people to support new discovery as well as uh, new entrepreneurship. Yes, yeah, so the NIH has a variety of very data intensive research activities, um, and at this time, most of those is part of their overall organization of the program also figure out how to manage, curate, and share the data on a one-on-one -on -one basis. One good example of that is the, the ENCODE project that works with the international community, really, to make sure that data is well curated and is, and is available. Other data-intensive research projects also come up with their own um, plans on how to make sure it's available to the community. The, the prospects that, that are opened are a wide variety. We hope that it not only opens up new ideas for research and new fields and new discoveries, but we also are very interested in, in supporting the economy and the industry and, and generating new areas of um, business activity as well. And we. One example of that is at NIH, we have dedicated funding for small business programs. Mm -hmm. um, and we have dedicated funding for translation of scientific discoveries into practice at, in the clinic and bedside. Um, so we're very interested in both the basic research and discovery and the application and use of it in the greater society. I'm not sure if it's a fundamental change in the way science is done. Um, science has always shared its discoveries, its ideas, and its knowledge broadly and freely. That's one of the basic tenets of the scientific process. I think what we have is a huge expansion of how it can be done, how easily and rapidly it could be done, and, and what the implications might be. But the basic idea that, that scientists share knowledge and ideas will be the same.